Our story of the peach starts early in the spring, during the first warm days of March, when tiny buds come to life on several million South Carolina peach trees. The bud gradually swells over a period of several days, and then suddenly it unfolds into a delicate blossom. Each of these miniature flowers, with the amazing ways of nature, can develop into a mature peach that will rival the blossom in beauty and aroma. flowering beauty, the peach grower continues his battle with the insects and plant diseases that are ever present and waiting to destroy what man and nature have made. Without these protective sprays, there would be no bountiful harvest to fill our fruit counters with delightful peaches. Soon small peaches form from the blossoms. The warm Carolina sun goes to work and day by day the fruit grows larger. After a few weeks, they show the first tinge of color and finally develop into mature, sun-blushed beauties. From the air, peach orchards make interesting patterns. The rows of trees are planted to follow the contour of the land for proper water and air drainage. South Carolina has a long history in growing peaches, and today orchards dot the countryside from the coastal plains to the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. In fact, the state has almost four million peach trees, and for years has been the largest producer of peaches in the east. South Carolina has the climate and growing conditions that peaches like. The peach is at home here and grows to a thing of beauty and delicious taste. But the weather cannot always be depended on. Irrigation is used in dry periods to ensure the best possible fruit. This artificial rain, at just the right time, can make up for nature's forgetfulness. The large, luscious fruit is another example of how man helps nature produce a better product. Man has also improved the peach over the years. Present-day peaches are far sweeter and plumper than the original wild peaches that the early explorers brought to this country from Spain. For a century or more, plant breeders have been selecting and crossing the best varieties. One of the early varieties was the Alberta, for years one of the best known and most popular varieties. But the search went on for even better fruit, and today there are dozens of improved varieties that are superior to Alberta. Varieties such as Southland. Loring, Sun High, Blake, and Rioso Gem. All of these and other improved varieties have excellent qualities. One important difference between varieties is the ripening dates. By using a number of varieties, Growers can extend the fresh peach season throughout the summer months, from late May to the middle of September. Peaches to be shipped must be picked at just the right time, when they reach the proper stage of maturity. Pickers have to work with great care, for much depends on their ability to select fruit quickly without rough handling. And rightly so. Here is the queen of fruits and she must be treated royally. Each tree is picked several times in order to harvest the fruit as it matures.
After picking, the peaches go into a large bin for hauling to the packing house. A forklift moves the bin to a trailer. Bulk handling of the fruit is the trend in the peach industry today. Mechanization assures the consumer a large supply of choice fruit at the lowest possible cost. The peaches are hauled to the packing house to be prepared for shipment. Modern plants like these are still called packing houses, but actually they are factories. Factories that specialize in packing fresh peaches for shipments to markets and stores across the nation and even to foreign countries. Now, time becomes very important and it's a race to see how quickly the fresh fruit can be placed in the hands of consumers, perhaps thousands of miles away. The peaches are rushed to a hydro cooler where a bath of cold water quickly removes the field heat and slows down the ripening process. After cooling, the peaches are ready to start through the processing line that will prepare them for their journey to market. This machine is known as a mechanical dumper. The bins roll into position, the operator presses a control button, and the bin slowly sinks into a tank of cold water. Another push of the button tilts the bin, and the peaches gently float out, cushioned and protected by the water. The empty bin is then removed, all this in a minute or so, thanks to modern handling techniques. The fruit is lifted out of the cold water by rollers and fed into a machine, which removes the protective coat of fuzz from the skin of the peach. After shedding their woolies in this defuzzing operation, the peaches come out bright and clean. After a short trip over the drying rollers, the fruit goes to the grading section, where defective or damaged fruit is removed. Now the peaches go into the sizing machine. The undersized fruit is first removed, and the larger peaches go to different belts, sorted according to size. These belts carry the fruit to the busy packing line, where the peaches are placed in the containers for shipping. A number of different types of shipping containers are used for peaches, including baskets and different kinds of boxes. One popular container is the cardboard box with plastic liners. The liner provides a protective nest for each individual peach. The peach industry furnishes employment for thousands. Many of the packing house workers are high school students, earning some extra money during the summer months. Peaches that are shipped in bulk boxes are loaded from a turntable. Here is another popular packaging method, peaches in a plastic overwrap. This machine wraps a four pound tray of fruit with plastic shrink film. The trays are fed through a short heat tunnel which shrinks the plastic film. They come out the other end with the plastic holding the peaches firmly in place for shipping. Pre-packaging allows the housewife the opportunity to see before she buys and to enjoy the sanitation and convenience of a previously wrapped product. By the way, this young fellow, helping in his father's packing house, represents the third generation in the peach business. His grandfather was one of the early peach growers. Over the last 60 years, peach production has grown in South Carolina. Until today, it's big business. 
In a good year, when the fruit is abundant, over seven million bushels may be shipped. Peaches shipped out of South Carolina are inspected to be sure they meet requirements for size and quality. A federal state inspector checks random boxes to make certain they are within the standards. They make sure the fruit is of the size and variety labeled. The temperature below the surface is checked with a thermometer to see that the fruit has been cooled properly for shipping. They also make sure the peaches are free of cuts, bruises, and other defects. This inspection establishes a system of grades for buying and selling peaches. To the consumer, it means a more uniform and higher quality product. Here, peaches are being loaded into a refrigerated truck to keep them cool and fresh all the way to market. Most South Carolina peaches go to the northern and midwestern states. Some will even go by plane or ship to Europe. The large markets and distribution points, New York, Washington, and Chicago, are only a dozen or so hours away by truck. All the months of work in the orchards and the busy hours in the packing sheds serve just one purpose, to make delicious, fresh peaches available to you. Peaches that are generous in vitamins and minerals, low in calories. Peaches that can be served in many ways all through the day. With your favorite cereal for breakfast. In salads at lunchtime. Broiled for dinner. And for dessert, there's peach pie. Or peaches with ice cream. Or sliced peaches, which are good anytime. When you think of peaches, think of South Carolina, where peaches are grown fresh for you.